Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on drawing a line to find approximate solutions to an equation. So we've got a graph here of y equals minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 4. I should probably have used the ruler, but never mind. We need to use a suitable line to solve minus 3x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. Now the key is we always start with the equation we're trying to solve. So 1, start with the equation you're solving. And then step two is to manipulate the equation until you have the graph equation on one side. So let's do that. We're going to start with minus 3x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. That's the equation we're trying to solve. But we want to see this equation of the graph on one side. So we want to be able to see on one side, if I just leave a gap, minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 4 on one side of the equation. Because then we can somehow use this graph. Now let's think what we did to get from here to here. It seems like we've added 2x to get from x to 3x, we've added 2x. And we've also subtracted 5 to get from here to here. And that means because whatever we do to one side of the equation we do to the other, we're going to have to add 2x, so the 0 becomes 2x, and you're going to have to subtract 5, so it's 2x minus 5. So now we've got this equation of the graph on one side of the equation, but we're still solving the original equation. Because we've done the same thing to both sides of the equation, it's still actually the same equation, just manipulated a bit. Now at this stage, you sketch each side of the equation. So you imagine there's like a sort of y equals under this. So we've got like y equals minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 4, which we've got a sketch of, it's here. And we also do y equals the right-hand side. So we sketch y equals each side of the equation. So we've already got a sketch of the left-hand side, y equals that, but we also need a sketch of y equals 2x minus 5. Now that's a straight-line equation. Remember y equals mx plus c is the general equation of a straight line. And the plus c here is minus 5, so it's going to go through minus 5 here. And then the gradient of 2 means it's going up by 2 units each time. But what we could do is we could just plug in a value of x and see what y is. So if y is equal to 2x minus 5, and x was equal to 2, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 5 is minus 1. So when x is 2, 2x minus 5 would give you minus 1. So that's another point. And then we can sort of join it up. You would probably have a ruler. So join these up to form a straight line. And this would usually be more accurate because you'd be plotting this on a proper grid. And then the final step is to read off the points of intersection. So you can see that's a point of intersection here. And x is roughly, I'd say, 0.8. So x is approximately, that's approximately symbol, 0.8. And remember, we're only solving an equation in terms of x. We don't actually care what the y value is here. We only care what x is because we're solving for x. Well, what's the other one? x is approximately, and then if we look at this other point of intersection, which is about here, I'd say that's maybe like minus 0.5. And that is the full process. So do follow these steps on the right here.